Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play series. I'm Crafty Salmon, and today uh, we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff. I want to get some beacons today, but first off a little recap of last time we made this uh, creeper temple to go over top our creeper farm and also to function as a big old storage area. So if, in case you didn't see this, uh, it came out pretty nice and we also put some uh, pink leaves on it at the end of the last episode as well. And we also made a pretty big gold farm, which finally lets us get as much XP and gold as we could ever need, which is really good because we needed to repair all of our tools. Today though, we have some more business in the nether because we need beacons and I want to make a wither skeleton farm. I don't really want to just sit around the nether fortress and try and farm them up for forever because for some reason, I always have the worst luck when I do that. So I want to actually try and make a farm for it. And there's this one design by Logical Geek Boy that I've seen, which does not use any wither roses. So that'll be a lot easier for us to make. So that is kind of our main project for the day. And that's gonna enable us to kind of get started on the mega build. I wanna get some space cleared out over there, but I'm not sure if we'll have time for it today. Uh, the first thing I want to do is try and find some bees though. We're gonna need bees and honey For a couple of things mainly waxing the copper so it doesn't um, Oxidize right and change colors and then we also Want to get some candles. I think some candles would be cool. I've never seen the candles in game So I'd be pretty excited to finally get my hands on some of those and we can kind of add them as decoration around this area because I think they'd be uh, pretty fitting. You know, bees have been in the game for quite a while. I've never really played around with them that much. So this will be interesting. I know they spawn in birch forests and flower forests and that's it. I'm pretty sure there's other biomes, but I have, I, I don't know what they are. But I mean, you know, they could probably spawn in like regular forests like this also. So let's, let's take a look. Okay, no bees at our first forest. It's okay. I mean, I really don't know how common bees are, but I'm guessing they don't spawn in this kind of forest. I mean, I'm keeping an eye out. I feel like I'd spot a beehive pretty easily. They're like bright yellow, aren't they? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Our first beehive. Hey, can you tell if there's bees in it? Oh, they're, no, I don't think they are in it. They're all chilling outside. Hmm. Oh, there's the other bee. Okay. Okay. I think there's two bees in there. Does this have silk touch? It does. Can you mine it with silk touch? You can. Okay. We did it. And we are back. And it's nice to be back, so we, I believe, have two bees, which is all we should really need. Um, but I'm not totally sure where we're going to do it yet, so for now I'm just going to hold on to them, and we'll keep them for later. I was thinking, though, that we still have some builds to finish up over here, and I don't want to leave a bunch of projects unfinished over here before we go on to the next area. So... Let's try and build the uh, shelf for the sheep farm. So now that we've finished up the shell for the sheep farm, the next thing I want to do is get up a bunch of pressure plates, or gather up, that is, a bunch of pressure plates and that kind of stuff for the wither skeleton farm. So we can finally get our beacon, and since we got our iron farm working again, we will actually have the blocks, hopefully, to make the beacon. And yeah, it's going to take a lot of spawn proofing. It's I don't know what's a bigger project, this or the gold farm. Either way though, both big projects, but both very necessary. So without further ado, let's uh, collect up a bunch of stuff 
And then we can get start building it. Okay, hello. I'm interrupting this time lapse because Chad, look at this. I go through the portal. And I hear that sound. I'm like, oh my gosh. So what do I do? I'm like, okay, I'll run. Let me let me book it. No. So he blew up the portal. I heard the portal crack, so I'm like, okay. I'll just go back and I'll bring like a flint steel so I can get, you know, back into the overworld after I get my stuff. But then I'm like, oh, I'm up here and this is where the piglet farm is. I have no way to get down there. So, you know, jump into the lava, as you do. And I'm like, alright, well let me get my elytra and I'll like fly down there so I can get my stuff back. I got down there and basically all my stuff survived somehow, thankfully. The platform the portal was on was like one block thick, so I thought everything was going to be gone. But we got pretty lucky. Um, obviously it would have been more lucky if that just never happened in the first place. But that's cool. You know? I have some more stuff to collect, so let's get back to it. So as you can see behind me, we actually went ahead and spawn proofed the nether fortress. There's still a lot of spaces to spawn proof around us, like the uh, Soul Sand Valley maybe, some of the spots of nether wastes and that kind of stuff, but the fortress was the main thing, and it is a whole lot safer over here now. And I'm thinking we're going to build our farm at this crossroads, probably. So the way it works is uh, zombie pigmen, blazes, and... Wither Skeletons are really the only mobs that will spawn there, and the blazes will be killed just via their natural pathfinding, they'll want to pathfind to a solid block, but they won't be able to get to it, instead they'll fall on cactuses. The pigmen will also fall on cactuses, and they'll be attracted by a turtle egg. And for the actual Wither Skeletons themselves, we're going to use a piglin, but not a zombified one because they are attracted to the normal piglins and they want to like fight them or whatever. So we're going to have to snag a normal piglin, bring them all the way, all the way over here. So that's going to be kind of annoying. And the wither skeletons are going to be attracted to him. They're going to fall down a hole in the middle and we will uh, chop them up with our looting sword. The main thing I'm worried about is ghasts. So yeah, let's jump right into it.
Alright, so we've managed to collect up um, six wither skeleton skulls. So that's enough to kill two withers and get two beacons. And also you'll see we kind of spawn proofed a little bit of the area over here to try and make the farm a little more efficient. But yeah, the last thing I want to do for today is going to be to head to the end and kill the wither the only way I know how, which is the cheaty way. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the end, and hopefully we will not die doing this. I've only done this like once or twice, so it makes me a little anxious. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the end portal and mine out a thing underneath it. Okay, I think this is big enough. And then from the middle, it's like this. I think this is right. Okay, he made an Enderman very upset, but I think it's okay. Let's let's give him a smack. Oh, oh, that's one. Now we just need to do the other one. Awesome. All right, so we got two Wither Stars and some interesting heads. Very interesting. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't get up to as much as we might normally do, uh, but just doing some small projects before we get started on the mega build. I'm really excited for that though. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, you know, please uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.